here we've got um, actually we've got some samples uh, from when the building one came down and we've made them into some drum hits uh, and uh, we've used some other samples from TV documentaries and stuff like that um, to sort of show like a sort of timeline from when the wall came down to what Berlin is like today. Okay. And um, Harry, was there something else happening um, at the end of the piece that you wanted to uh, share with us a little bit? Yeah, so we've made a, um, a third track's a bit of a tongue-in-cheek take on this, um, I don't know if any of you heard about this project called YOLO Course, which is a really horrible, hard-hitting art project that this guy's done. Um, it looks at people who've taken selfies at the Holocaust Memorial and um, superimposes those photos over original photos from, you know, the time, <laughs> the bad times. Um, and so we've, we've made the third piece of this set that is... Um, kind of play on that so it's a bit stupid and then becomes more serious hopefully. <laughs>
one thing that happened to be in the 80s, besides Knight Rider uh, and Baywatch, was the Berlin Wall. And I sang on the Berlin Wall in 1989 to a million people. And I look back at it now, and finally getting the airplane.
Well, it's big business in Berlin. Just trinkets and tours and team on off road. Nowadays, the wall is big business in Berlin. Trinkets and tours and team on offer everywhere.